Hi everyone, welcome to the WSO2 Identity Server User Management Training video. In this video, we are going to discuss an overview of users, claims, permissions, user roles and user groups, as well as how this information is stored and managed. Let's begin by understanding why we need user management. User management helps to manage user identities securely and efficiently within the IAM solution. It defines and manages access rights and grants relevant access rights to users based on their authority. Now that you have learned why we need user management, let's learn what users and attributes are. A user is a digital representation of a physical user or an entity that requires access to applications or resources. For example, John Doe is a physical user who creates a user account to access an HR application, an accounting application, and a sales application. In day-to-day -day life, we have many such user accounts to manage. User attributes are pieces of information that claim the identity of a user. It can be the first name, last name, date of birth, or anything that represents the user or is uniquely associated with the user profile. The attributes that are used to define the user identity depend on the organization's needs. For example, your employee ID is used to represent you within your organization, while your social security number can be used to identify you in government institutions. Now, let's learn about permissions, roles and groups. Once a user is signed into an application, Depending on the job role, the user will be permitted to access certain resources and restricted from accessing the rest. For example, John Doe, who is from the logistics team, will only be permitted to view the user information, while Jane Doe, who is from the HR team, is permitted to view, edit and delete users. Based on the job profile, the organizations can choose to grant permissions to access resources. However, Granting permissions to each employee separately is a tedious task. A user role enables grouping the permissions that are relevant to a particular job profile. Organizations can then simply assign these pre-configured user roles to users and grant controlled access. Rather than assigning roles and permissions individually to each user, Administrators can create user groups and assign the relevant roles and permissions to these user groups instead. All members of the group will then inherit the designated roles and permissions. In this example, the managers group contains all the managerial positions of the organization. The managers group is assigned with permissions to view, edit and delete users in the HR application and therefore, all members of the group will inherit these permissions. With role-based access control in place, resources will only be accessed by the users assigned to the related user role. Role-based access control also reduces administrative costs by enabling the effective management of the permissions of user roles. For example, if you want to add the edit employee permission to the senior management team, you can simply add that permission to the related user role without having to add the permission to each user separately. Similarly, if you want to revoke the delete employee permission from the HR team, you can simply remove that permission from the related user role without having to remove the permission from each user. Role-based access control also enables you to easily comply with regulations such as GDPR that focuses on privacy. Next, let's learn what user stores are. A user store is a repository that stores user and role information. LDAP, Active Directory and Relational Database Management Systems are commonly used user stores. The speciality of WSO2 Identity Server is that it is capable of connecting with multiple user stores at once. We have now come to the end of this training video. Let's have a quick recap of what we learned from this training. First, we got to know why we need user management. Next, we got to know about users, attributes, permissions, user roles and user groups. Finally, we discussed about role-based access control and its benefits 
and about user stores. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to get in touch with us through the following channels. Our email is iam-dev at wso2.org. In Stack Overflow, you may tag your queries with wso2-identity-server and you may join our Discord server using the link on the screen. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to meet you in another exciting training video.